chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on... Slugok, what should we do about the helmet thieves? I'm afraid there's no choice but to stop them. Go to their camp and deal with them at once. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Let's go, baby. No, the more. You bring them. There's a couple other places, but how do you just let you just live? Let's get it done. Now we're going You can buy it from the teacher, I think. There's this one dude on the road. There's the Pogsmeath guy. time combat has gotten hard is when they have like multiple different colored shields and you have to use all these different colored freaking moves on the right guys. That's when combat gets a little hard. Dude, this, I'm listening to the soundtrack from part six right now. It's like one of my, one of my favorite soundtrack. So good. Oh, 
<laughs> I can't believe Cody plays that game as much as earlier though. That's the gamest shit I've ever seen, you know. He just gives game and yeah, you sign. Okay. I called when I joined the party and just started shitting on him. <laughs> I don't want to support them, but since I am buying it from somewhere else, I'm not supporting them technically. Oh, geez. You're still buying the game, what the fuck? Jesus <laughs> Christ, you're still going to enjoy it, it's still about to be your favorite game. Nice tripping. Doing like a killer mission, uh, like an epic song sort of plan. Enjoy this. What? Yeah. Still buying it, still playing it. Just don't want it. He is like white. He wanted to white, white chain right there. That's like white chain. <laughs> white gate. Oh, 
up, dude. God damn it. That was fucking sick. This one is hard. So it's true then. The room is on the train. Jordan Black is gonna do the woods. <laughs> <laughs>
Stop that motherfucker. Expulsion. What am I supposed to do? by myself. Rebellion. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I just get rocks. Your thoughts full. Oh my god. Is there anything I can destroy really quick? It's like really weak. them off the map and the camera doesn't care. I want to reincarnate into this game. Into the universe of the where this game exists. <laughs> it's crazy. Man, it's just tight. <laughs> it's just it tight. Huh. Huh. 
Perhaps I shall scout around Fellcroft for something to approach. So tired. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's shameful what you've done to help Look, this beast. Generously. Seven sorcerers. <laughs> spiders. I hate spiders. Put you out of your misery. Well, the woods is not a good place to be. Safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. Finally, fuck. That took me a while to figure out. But I figured it out. Bro. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. 
His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Poor book. Hey, you gotta go, Fig. Damn, I'm wrecking with this combo. I love it so much. <laughs> it's funny too because I've been listening to the me with the music like majority of the whole time. So like even in the, even when I think it's the game playing the music is just my music in the background, but it fits it so well just for it to fall into it automatically. <laughs> it's I know, right? Music. It's it's super tight. Like almost every scene, mm -hmm. it works. <clears throat> so tight. Man, I haven't had like a a game marathon like this in a long time. It's dope. Because there hasn't been any great games out. I know, for a long time. 
I'm about to fight a boss. They just gave me a bunch of potions. Those assignments were challenging. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the Dude, knowledge that Rex. one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. It's better than what fucking Expelliarmus. Well, I'd use Expelliarmus on the big ass knight to, to knock the damn sword off. Oh shit, big ass boss. I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. And you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should fuck? not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel Fuck. your magic towards your targets. Oh, I haven't seen those yet. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training? Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood Gosh. branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare and as is often the case he's with the say he's not a man. We can he's frequently art. be misread, he's an artist. even feared. <laughs> when I was granted the opportunity to teach others uh -huh. about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes. Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. Got him, yes. Damn, that's a tough fight. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing 
That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Can't wait to spark up another J joint here. <laughs> Goddamn right. Now spark the light foam on. It's one two at the same time. <laughs> Descendo! What time is it? 11? We'll be up another at least probably 2 3 hours. Maybe a little longer. <laughs> What are you up to now? <laughs> I'm Harry, Harry Potter. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. I hunt it on the set. That's usually what I give them those chests. About 500 each time. Double that. Pass to the next one. Pretty good right in that scene. Nice. Three combat plants. Oh, I'm not there yet. What the fuck, dude? I 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Starts with uh, Professor Weasley. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Nice to see you, my young friend. Dude, the seasons change too, like in the movies. That's super tight. It's fucking nuts. <clears throat> Again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow Damn, me to so apologize if I seemed a bit uh, yeah. unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. 
Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <laughs> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Yeah. Experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play of my name. Some jackanapes used the bullet cool. to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I was hitting it with the fire. I have as to the scoundrel oh, yeah, the scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal okay. themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as right. McCarthy oh, what's here? Guys, most what would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my <laughs> evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew <laughs> I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, Move you'll along. notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how Move it is. What about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school <laughs> was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me <laughs> for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. That's Jenna Lee right there. <laughs> That's Jenna Lee. That's Jenna Lee. Lee Fong Hong. I'm Bellatrix Grammary. Alohomora. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, decoration, yeah. 
No, decorations, yeah, well, yeah. Well, no, you should have four. You should be able to do it. No. Some of the stuff does, does like pictures and the furniture, but not, not, not decorating. Cosmetic wise. Oh my god, I got it. That took like 10 minutes. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle after all. Best. Poorly, I'd 
say. Yes, We're raising a generation of battles that can scarcely tell the difference between us. That is the infantry. It's still early. God damn it. Caught in the curve. Caught a curve, slip and curve. Caught a curve, slip and curve. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, if you can put this invisibility spell all the time, how come the cloak is so special? This must be the prefect's bathroom. Potter, generational family. The Potters. <laughs> Issues are complicated though. Pavelia. Well, they gotta go animation so complicated.
Not at the moment, no. Yeah. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, no? Oh, oh my God, oh my God. being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Ten galleons. Put on your brother. A thousand galleons. <laughs> no. Really? I got caught by a Hufflepuff. Disrespectful. Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on your sheep. Yo. Yo. Let's take a shower. Feel fresh. There you go. I need that second wind. Yep. <laughs> All right. Might order some food. You ever have rallies? Yeah. It's bomb. The fries, so good. Thinking about getting some chili cheese fries right now. Too tasty, too. Too tasty, too. My desk is a mess. Gotta get rid of all this freaking trash. Oh, these are the, I found the, the good uh, balloon mission you're talking about. Gotta go pop them. Yeah, just fly into them. You just fly into them? Yeah. I just got Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Dude, the, the herbology shit is sucking tight. The herbology. Merlin's beard, you're Harry Potter. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Thank you. 
It's true what they say. You can take a 12 inch one straight to the bottom. I know when I see a winning Dude, I can't believe we're actually playing a game like this right now. I used to dream about a game like this back in the day. I know, that's why it was fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> like all the time when Harry Potter was out, I'm like, man, yeah. I wish you could just go to a game and be at Hogwarts and shit. Yeah, this shit is fucking tight. I wonder if the hippogriffs could be faster than the ram. Oh, the, the hippogriff. Yeah, I want to say it'd be faster than the the ram. Look, you they're pretty fast. Uh, I've seen them flying in the air. me to collect oh goodness you're as fearless as i'd hoped an excellent start that if we can collect more it may shed some light on who's behind all this of course i first suspected peeves he drove the previous caretaker uh, rancorous cop to an early retirement with his intolerable there's always effect. one every time uh, but that does not explain the and it's the last, literally the last does one does <laughs> Determined with your help to Every discover the identity one. of my tormentor. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Fuck, found it. The one behind the trees. It's definitely yeah. a tree. <laughs> I'd like to help you solve this mystery. <laughs> Some bullshit. You, my friend, are a gem person <laughs> and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your yeah, assistance. Yeah, some rallies. Now, remember, the some moons are only retrievable at night. Nice. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment fries, when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Ooh, I found my cat in the game. Let's send out the Vasca Zabra. Found what? I found my cat in the game. <laughs> Can you get a pet? Uh, <clears throat> we should. We should. I don't know why we don't have one yet. I'm supposed to be able to tame yeah. animals. What the fuck is this shit all about? This better be a long ass game. It's gotta be. Order. 
haven't had rallies in a really long time. I wonder if their wings are any good. Probably not. You ever had their wings before? It's been a long time if I have. They're all right? Uh, yeah. Like average. Oh, I'm level 16 now, nice. Now I could do the, uh, get the next thing of upgrades. Oh my god, slots are full. I forget, I gotta go to Hogsmeade like now. Damn, pick two. Go and go, I'm oh, fine. I wish you could like hide the gear, like put it on, but hide it. You can do that in Assassin's Creed, so if you didn't like what it looked like, you didn't have to see it. <clears throat> you, well, you kind of can. How? You can, you can do that. Um, when you put the... When you go to your character, and like, you look at the gear and everything, if you have it on, um, you can just go to the uh, change appearance, and then put the R, like the, the stop on it. So you'll still have it on with the stuff, you just won't have that. Oh, uh, you have to go to change appearance? Yeah. Okay, I gotcha. Alright. Got a sweet new wand handle too. I think we're getting close to be able to get the un unforgivable curses. Hopefully. Huh? Hopefully. <laughs> I know. Because I'm looking at the talents now that I'm level 16. One of the level, um, one of the, there's like Crucio Mastery and Imperial Mastery. And you have to be at level 16 to unlock it, but we have to have the curse unlocked. I know I'm at 16 already, so. I just need the curse now. Uh, you're customizing the room. Put the altercation spell on, and then when you click it, uh, it's gonna be up on the D pad to change the size, I think. In my in my thing, I made a little chair and a big chair. Oh, nice! Just unlocked Glacius. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, 
none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Oh, this this probe you is sick. Use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Show you my guy right now. <coughs> that's, oh, that's, my, that's what I got as my. I'm floor. sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Iron banner. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Weapon guardian. Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way yeah. to the pens and select another yeah, beast. And please, <laughs> do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles I've been are in there. You kind of look like the guy from uh, Scary Movie 3. Oh. I'd rather use the whiskers <laughs> to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something for honey jeeks. <laughs> stupid thing. The black family. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hilarious. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar <laughs> Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. It's got to sell everything. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. <laughs> Where is our new... Genuinely. <laughs> ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. <laughs> Why is she black? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? 
It was wonderful. I when believe God I really hope to enjoy Mabiosa. this class. Good. When God you seem Mabiosa. to understand that when mm, beasts what are less recipes control, should I buy? They can play a vital role in our good. lives. Maxima potion recipes. Some provide us with magically imbued materials if cared for correctly. Damn, Thunder Brew recipe cost twelve hundred. I know. Also, I got. Well done, buy it. Okay. by the way. Only a point <laughs> left. It's best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over uh, there's a this shop. Terrible waste of resources. There's a shop in Hogsmeade that has it. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice uh, by If you already have it, it's on your L1 thing. Hmm. <coughs> An optimistic idea. Yeah. Now, no, why you don't we focus no, yeah, on you have to go plan it. I, that's what I did. I had to go plan it. Can control. My Professor place. Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments. I planted at my place. I went and bought the, the seed at Hogsmeade, and I planted it at my place. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I he also sold you the encourage seed for you to study as many places as you can. There's a place at the top time. right of Hogsmeade. Let me pull up the map. I took me. A, I didn't find it at first. It's all the way at the top right. It's a mushroom. It's called Dogweed and Deathcap. I'm going to the other one, the potion one only. Yeah, they Did don't have the one over there. Poppy. Thank you again for okay. saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. In the top right, you know, there's called dogweed and desert. something. It's that I mushroom. It's like little... that's that's a good plant thing. place. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm. It's that little farm. We're of a similar mind. Full incantation. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. It's the magic moose knuckle. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the okay. way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just I'm the baby. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking us? It really is much better if I just show you. Yeah, I'm about to get a pet Don't worry, something. we're nearly there. It's just ahead. What do you have to buy? What is it telling you? Stand back. Buckbeed! Yeah, go to the herbal place. You should be able to buy them there. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. Mm, I'm I'm you must careful. always show hippogriffs the proper I'm courtesy they introduce before the introduction. you approach them. Things so are not that far from getting a pet right now, too, Gordon. You just got one. I, knew it. I think I'm about to I get it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties. Tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. You're still doing your secret room, Danny? So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. 
Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howard mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just right, not sure. got a surprise on the way, baby. Spark up a joint. That does seem back. strange. Can we get Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. <coughs> Fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. Oh, one circle. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't uh, been herself. You can do it when you're in the city. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit <clears throat> in the towns. <laughs> that's, a good, that's pretty gay, I don't know if I can... <laughs> Oh, you English, English. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? You're a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf.
Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. <coughs> it must be fit to help with schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Follow the butterflies. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howling said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Just plant that shit multiple times. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. I have my fan on so my I can't smoke this joint slow because the wind is just making it burn. Yeah, you just gotta throw it at multiple enemies. Yeah, just make, make sure there's like a group of one, two people. Just one time. <clears throat> I saved it for a mission, like one of the main story missions, and I just did it on there when the menu just popped up. Yeah, I just ran into him. Do that shit, dude. No.
My God, what the fuck are you, are you taking me, man? How do we get a large one? the frog now. No. No, I haven't done that either. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Big hated I working for him. Dinner. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
pretty funny. What the fuck? You got one. Some fantastic bee shit out of me. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and well, Deke isn't here. sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer later. with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Fig. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Everything's all right now. I'm going risking all these. <laughs> then I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna, risk, I'm gonna risk you and them fucking big puff balls, balls everywhere. Professor Howen will never believe this. Thank God on dirt, dirt caught me about thirteen, fourteen, Doctor Pips. Could it be a Merlin trial?
Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to mm -hmm. slow flying so beasts. Easier to get in nice. close and use the knapsack. Yeah, well, I filled up all the my hunter's spots for Iron Banner engrams. So the next season, <laughs> I'm gonna be as soon as I spawn, I have to claim them all. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. I got like will be waiting. five or ten. Got two on more lot. It's gonna be all right. Trader, he's he the dark side. I want the dark side too, though. I just like my meat a little more. Right? Professor Howard will never believe this. Oh, black booty. Oh, my skin. That moody, last game. About oh five hours. I rescued a jobanol. Deke hopes your jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Dig will see you there. the clearing you mentioned it is moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front but only under the light of the moon so unfortunately unless you have a way to hasten time you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Won't you? <coughs> wow, these are hard. A thousand of them can we go on? Safe 
elephant sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Search the tomb for the helmet. And there's like a three butterflies, and there's missing one butterfly. And the butterfly's in the other room, but I don't know how to grab a butterfly. I can't grab it with any of the spells. Um, if, if it's like a spinning thing, you have to spin the thing, and it lifts up the platform. Climb up it before it falls down. Look the part you're at. I don't think so. I think it's a different thing. Is it like a bridge then? Nah. I think I did that already. <clears throat> Whatever. See, like, I'm gonna uh, come back later. Is there something golden on the floor? No, I took a golden door with oh, three butterfly slots. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. What exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Dick isn't sure. Only one way to find out. I'll meet you inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Actually, perhaps another time. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. 
Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Big thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beast. What happened? Indeed. <clears throat> you I got a little bit more tight right now? Deke oh, so sure. too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as pulskeen hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Everything's all right now.
going home, that's what I fucking do on this one. I don't understand. Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Thank you. I'll get back to collecting materials. Wonderful. Good luck. Fuck. Damn, it drops the feather every 25 minutes. What the fuck? That every 25 minutes too? Bro. This real time thing is kind of. <laughs> Everything drops in like, two five minutes. I feel like if we inverted the falling settings, it'd be easier. Some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted yep. loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials uh, to weave oh, magic into the very threads really of your bread. clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Oh, I can't Bro, I suck at flying straight. It's so hard. Alright, there we go. Now I got a little rhythm. There we go. There we go. <clears throat>
Getting a rest on the med time. The hell am I thinking this bike out or something? <clears throat> so train there, train there, train. Arresto momento. Hmm. He came in clutch with that spell, though. I used the enchanted Why spell. Wonderful. Oh, the... Will I be able to Why meet even more powerful magic? Oh yeah. So oh, my you God. will. Without even a wand, just his hand. Powerful beasts. I know. That's probably However, easy. Beat easy suggests fight. you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Arrest that momento. Close both objects and enemies, giving you extra time to find your next move. I need to get to Findo, that's what I want to do next. <clears throat> Alright, I need to get... Thank you for your help, Deke. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time.
<clears throat> I need some money, dude. Sweet, here I come. Glad you came. Shall I have the courage to go into the forest? Hello, Serena. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgog? I'm pretty sure this is the transsexual they added into the game. <laughs> I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. So gay. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. But I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, <laughs> yes. Why can't you follow mind. the butterflies? Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. <laughs> Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. <laughs> you can usually find me right around here. Writers. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. I like how we can go to the bar and drink a beer and just do it. What happened? We can just go drink butter beer and just dip. <laughs> butter beer. I've never had butter beer. I wonder if it's good. Gotta be. If you can get it at. Where is it? Harry Potter World? Yeah.
He'll see it was a mistake yeah, parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. What? Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant last day? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This must be it. Enter the cellar. <coughs> or die. Cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could you Stop! Stop, bandit! How do you see me? I miss me, though. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Mr. Lawley see me. Oh, I might be getting close to the beast part. <laughs>
the venomous tentacular I should return to Mr. Barnes. Did that Aaron for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. The night guy? It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Yeah, pay me. Got an Oreo ice cream. Nice to see you again. Let's go. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Did 
you figure out how to do that that treasure yet? The okay. candles. Nope. The candles. I have no idea. I need some cash too. I need some ingredients for mission. Do the different spell. Just got anything else to sell? I just sold a bunch of shit. Pretty much into sell everything, right? If it's uh, if it's yeah, so I was doing on the lower stuff yeah. to sell it. Yeah, just gonna lock it as an ornament, anyways. Need to find some shoes. Let's see. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, Damn, this is where we Snape some died, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scare me.
Got those mandrakes on deck now. Later. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the hippogriff. Have you done that? Nothing to identify. The for now, at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just no, it's tight. Shit was good. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. How are you supposed to grab like these moths off these things? The luminous. Huh? Lumos. Lumos. Oh, Lumos? Yeah. I was trying like everything but that one. I'm like a fucking idiot. <laughs> He's almost everything but that one. It's crazy. Maxima. Lumos Maxima. 
Lumos Maxima. They would make the damn Levada Cadabra so long to get. <clears throat> when the when is it coming? I know. That's probably the last one you gotta get too. But you probably gotta get the other <laughs> two first. Game over and then you get it. Game over. Right. Go on a killing spree. <laughs> Travel broadens the mind. Damn, 
ones I've been on the main street for a while. like a place right out of a storybook. Pavelio. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Velcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Randrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. This boy, hey. shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, but nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. 
Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. We got Joey, that's a, a Slytherin version of Joey.
Fuck, how do I get to this thing? 